Y'all ready to turn off the lights and do some sewing? Today I'm going to make a super cute blouse using Ditto. Fall is here and I am so excited to start sewing up flannel tops and dresses. And I was browsing through the Ditto library and they have this super cute blouse called the Ashley blouse. And I think it's going to be fabulous out of flannel. It's a little flirty. It's got a bell sleeve. It's feminine. So it's going to look great out of flannel. So if you haven't used Ditto before, you are in for a treat. A lot of the patterns on Ditto are customizable. And what does this mean? Well, it means that you can put in your custom measurements and it sizes the pattern for you. And today we are going to do that with our Ashley blouse. So if you've already created a measurement profile, you're going to find it in your account and then go down to measurement profiles and you can put multiple profiles in here so you can make them for all of your friends and keep those measurements on file. Pretty cool for holiday gifts, huh? Okay, so we are going to scroll down. I've got two profiles in here. I'm going to click on Anastasia Spring 23 just so you can see it here. So these are all the different measurements that you can take and it's going to customize the pattern for this. And you can edit the measurements anytime you want. So now let's go find that Ashley blouse so we can check it out. So let's go to our pattern library. So now that we're in our pattern library, I'm going to click on that Ashley blouse that's there. And you can see it's got this awesome bell sleeve. It's got a nice keyhole in the back. This is going to be so cute out of flannel fabric. And I love that it's like a super feminine style, but we're using this like outdoorsy flannel heavy fabric. It's a great juxtaposition. So now I'm going to select my measurement profile here, Anastasia Spring 23. And then we are going to apply this to the pattern. And there we go, it customized the pattern for us just like that. Can you believe that? So easy, hours of pattern drafting, psh, out the window. You can do this on your computer, your tablet, or your smartphone. So now I've opened the Ditto app on my phone, and now we can go and find that Ashley blouse, and there she is. So now what we're gonna do is open up our workspace, and we're gonna put all of our pattern pieces projected onto this fabric. No cutting of paper. Oh, Amazing, right? No more paper cuts. Okay, we're gonna check out that workspace. And all of our patterns are over to the right. And we're gonna select the one that we wanna start with first. Which one do we wanna start with? We'll just start at the top. We're gonna do the back. I'm gonna drag it over here. We're gonna drag over the front. Let's see if we can fit that one on there. That one just fits. And we're gonna send it to projector and we are gonna get our pattern pieces right on our fabric. And I'm using plaid today. So we can really line up these plaids because we can move our fabric around and we can see right through the pattern. This is a game changer for using prints and plaids and things you need to line up. So let's do it. Let's start projecting and cutting out. Oh my gosh, look at how cool that looks projected on the plaid. This is going to be so fun. And it was so easy to line up the grain lines and the other balance lines on the pattern with the plaid because we can see right through the pattern. So I've got my first piece here, which is center back, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Looks great, we cut out our first piece and now it's time to mark the dart. So I'm gonna take a ruler and some chalk. I'm gonna draw in this fisheye dart on the wrong side of my project. I'm not gonna draw in any of the notches on here because I don't really need those to sew it together. So I'm just going to be marking in my fisheye dart. And now we're done with our first piece. That was pretty cool. I didn't need a paper pattern and I've got my first piece already cut out. Now it's time to cut out the rest of the blouse. We are all cut out. That was fun. That was fast and now it's time to sew. But before we sew, let's go over the pieces we just cut out. We have our facing pieces and the interfacing cut out. Always double check your pattern to see if you need some interfacing. We have our back shirt. We have our front shirt. 
If we move over here, we have this super fun sleeve. We've got the top of our sleeve, we've got the middle of our sleeve, and we've got the bottom of our sleeve. The first thing I'm gonna do is head over to the ironing board and fuse down all of my fusible interfacing on the facing pieces. Now all the interfacing's fused on. And then I'm gonna head over to the serger and I'm gonna serge all the raw edges on my shirt except the bottom of these flounces because we are gonna go back and baby roll hem those and that is gonna be so cute. We surged up all of our edges and they are looking beautiful and professional. So now we're going to sew up our darts. We have two regular darts on the front of the bodice and we have two fisheye darts on the back of the bodice. The darts are going to give us a nice tailored finish to this blouse. And if you need help sewing up some darts, make sure you check out my videos on that. We are done with the darts and you can really see how the darts are creating shape for the bodice, it's creating shape in the bust, and we've got a nice tailored shape in the back of the bodice. Next, we're gonna insert an invisible zipper in the left side seam of the blouse. When we put a zipper in the blouse, we need to make sure that the pole is at the bottom of the blouse, so that way it opens up from the bottom, and then it helps open up the blouse so we can get into it. And then when we sew it, since it's an invisible zipper, we need to flip it over, right sides together, and sew it up right under those teeth, and then we're gonna take it and flip it over to the left, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Open up those teeth and stitch it down. And we're still gonna have an opening up here after it's stitched together, so then we need to go back and stitch up this little opening that's left. Okay, our zipper is in, and it is looking super invisible. So now we're gonna place right sides together, so that way we can sew up that side seam. And while we're sewing that up, we also want to sew up our shoulders. So we have a shoulder on this side. And we also have a shoulder on the zipper side that we want to sew up as well. And while we're at the sewing machine, we're going to sew up center back, but we're going to stop right here where that curve starts because this is a keyhole that gets left open. This blouse is really coming together. Let's take a look at how it's shaping up. Our center back is looking great. Look at those beautiful plaid lines matched up all the way down center back. And then we've got our side seam over here. Again, our plaid lines are matching up beautifully. This shirt is really coming together and I just love this flannel fabric. It is so fun and vibrant. Now it's time to sew together these really cool flouncy fluffy sleeves. To sew these sleeves together, we're gonna layer the flounces. We're gonna put the little flounce on top of the big flounce, and then we're going to take all of the flounces, both of the flounces, and we're gonna put them at the bottom of the sleeve here, so this straight line. So we're gonna have three layers that we're sewing together. So we wanna make sure we pin all of the layers at the end together. And then we can go ahead and sew all three together throughout here. You might need to ease this together a little bit because the flounces do have a bit of a stretch to them because they're basically like mini circle skirts for your arm. And you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other sleeve too. Now we have both of our flounces attached to the sleeve. And I'm gonna go over a really awesome way to finish the edge of a flounce. It's super easy. My favorite way to finish the edge of a curve, so circle skirt, little flounce, is with the baby rolled hem on the serger. It's gonna put this beautiful little bead of stitches all the way along the edge. And I'm gonna do it in red. So it's gonna give it a nice little accent on this top layer and the bottom layer gonna look so cute. So I'm gonna set my serger to the baby rolled hem and then I'm going to hem up both layers of the flounce. Look at how great the bottom of those flounces look in the red thread with the baby rolled hem from the serger. I just love this technique for finishing edges. Now it's time to sew up the sleeves and put them on the blouse. To do that we're gonna fold our sleeve in half and we're gonna line up the underarm. So the top of the sleeve with that seam right here connecting the flounces, line up your flounces really nice, and then we're just gonna sew from the bottom of the flounce all the way up to the underarm of the sleeve. 
And then after that, we're gonna put our basting stitches into the top of the sleeve cap here. And then we're gonna cinch those up and set our sleeve into the blouse. And before we sew the sleeve to the armhole, we're going to pin it in. So now that I have my basting stitches cinched up a little bit, we're gonna pin this in. I'm gonna line up the underarm seam first, and then we're going to work our way right around the armhole, lining up our edges and putting a few pins in here. We wanna make sure that the extra fabric in the sleeve is dispersed nice and evenly throughout the armhole. And when we have these little gathered roughly looking edges here on the sleeve, that's okay. That's just from cinching it up with the basting stitches that's gonna give the sleeve a nice round curve at the top of our shoulder. And we are looking good. We are all pinned up. I'm just gonna sew up these sleeves and we are almost done. We have the sleeves on and it is looking amazing. Now it's time to create the facing, put it on the shirt, hem it, and then we get to try it on and wear it. Now we're gonna take the facing pieces and sew them together. So first we're going to sew the shoulders together on the facing pieces, so flip these right sides together. Now this facing is unique because we also need to sew together this really small little center back section here because we have that keyhole in the shirt. Next, we're gonna place the facing on the blouse, right sides together, and we're gonna line it up right around the neckline, sew it on, give it a nice edge stitch, and then flip it to the inside, tack it down, and then we're done with the facing. The facing really finished off this neckline beautifully, and that keyhole in the back with the facing is gorgeous. And I added a little ribbon tie at the back. You could also do a buttonhole and a button or a loop and a button. You've got some options there. And now we have one step left, and that is finishing off the hem. And to finish the hem, I'm going to flip it up once, about 3 eighths of an inch, and stitch it down. This is going to give us a single folded hem. And now we're all done. We did it, we are all finished. Let's check out all the details that went into this blouse. So many details went into this cute blouse. We have darts in the bust for a nice fit. We have these really cool sleeves with the flounces on them. We put that baby roll hem on the edge for a pop of color and a great way to finish off the edge. We've got our beautiful facing around the neck. And then we have our facing around that keyhole in the back. So we've got a little detail on the back. We've got our cute little ribbon bow here at the top. And then we've got nice darts in the back as well. We've got the fisheye darts in the back. And then we've got our single rolled hem. And we can't forget our invisible zipper that lines up with the plaid beautifully. And it looks great on too. And I just love this cozy flannel fabric. And I just love these bell sleeves. They are so fun and flirty. In the back, detail is so fun as well. And you can see it fits really well with the darts in the front, the darts in the back, contouring. It's kind of like it was made just for me. Well, it's because it was, because I put all of my measurements into Ditto and then it customized the pattern for me. Using Ditto made the process of creating a custom blouse quick and easy. I didn't have to cut out my paper pattern. I didn't have to make any adjustments on the pattern because Ditto did it for me. Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed using Ditto to make a fall blouse with me today. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below in the comments and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video today, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know what you thought of the Ashley blouse on Ditto today. And if you have any special videos you wanna see, make sure you leave that down below in the comments too. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewy Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, well, thank you for watching today. These videos are for you guys. And if you're in Chicago, come on into the design studio and take a sewing class with me or a design class. Check those out at sewingastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.